Well, James, we'll get to the football in a minute, but I wanted to start by asking you about the Heads Up campaign, which is another big thing in the EFL uh, this week. It's something you've talked about a lot in the past. Just how important is it that we keep having this discussion? I think it's huge. Um, obviously, I've spoke about it, like you said, in the past, and it was a massive part of um, my life in terms of speaking out and um, seeking help, if you like. And I know how much of a difference it can make when you do that. Um, so yeah, I think it's, it's hugely important that um, people sort of, we, um, especially in football, talk about it and get out in the open and, and make people aware that people can change by, um, by talking. I mean, in terms of football itself, I mean, how have the challenges of being a professional footballer and dealing with the mental side of the game changed over the last two decades you've been playing? Um, I don't know that they've changed. I just think some people are more equipped to deal with them and some people aren't. I think depending on your upbringing, depending on your support network, uh, depending on what happens in your life determines um, what you can deal with and how much you can deal with. For me personally, I came from um, a small town mentality, sort of a small town. Um, never really wanted to be a professional footballer, but at 16, got the opportunity and then at 17 signed for Newcastle, 19 made my Premier League debut, um, 21 got released, 22 got relegated out of the Football League, all these things that happened, I was never ever um, equipped to deal with them, I didn't know how to deal with them, um, hence when I met Terry, when I obviously seeked help, it made such a huge difference in my life. Within football it, it, itself, that there's a lifetime in those few years, a lifetime's worth of highs and lows. It, you know, some people in their careers might not experience, experience that over 50 years, but and you have to deal with it in those moments. But that's just football. So, outside of football, my mum and dad divorced, my granddad died um, when I was 21. And to deal with them as well as all the football things, if you're not equipped to deal with that and you don't know how, it's difficult. And that's why I'm, I'm massively important on, on support networks. on people around you. For me, my mum and dad were massive for me, but they were going through a divorce, so they were going through their own problems. Um, I moved away from home at 21 for the first time ever and had nobody, apart from the people that <coughs> I was drinking with, gambling with. Um, so it's hugely important that clubs, and I know that now it's different to when I was younger, but now there's people at clubs that can help. There's the PFA that can help uh, people are becoming more aware of it, so there is definitely more there um, available for people to seek help and, and change and feel better about themselves. And, and finding the right person to talk to as well is clearly important. In your experience, you know, what, what sort of capabilities are you looking for when you're you know, thinking, okay, well, I might need to talk to someone, but I don't know who. So how do you go about finding that person and knowing that they're going to be able to, uh, you're going to be able to trust them and they're going to be able to respect you and what they say? Yeah, it's a good question. I mean... The biggest thing is actually talking to somebody. It might not be somebody who can give you the answers, but just letting somebody know how you're feeling um, actually relieves a lot of pressure. Uh, I know that for a fact because I've been through that. And then they might be able to put you onto somebody that actually knows what you're going through. Speaking to older people, more experienced people. That's why for me personally, I wanted to, to help other people because I know how much it can change your life. Um, and it's not for everybody, listen, it, people out there that are, that are fine and that are going through, they've got support networks, they've been brought up to, to deal with certain setbacks, but there's people out there that haven't, and then people are the ones that need the help, um, and it, it, it's actually amazing over the last five to ten years how things have improved, because people are, people do want to talk about it, people are coming out and talking about it, and it makes people feel so much better that they're not alone, they don't feel like oh my God, this is happening to me, um, just me. It's not that. It's, I believe everybody goes through something in their life. It might be when you're young, it might be in your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, but as soon as that happens, you need somebody to, to support you.